I suppose people could ask, um, is there a need for yet another fertility journal because there already are a few? Uh, I would like to argue very strongly that um, there is a need. This is because of three main reasons. One is immediacy and access. I think at this point in the 21st century, we need to access scientific literature that's available to everybody, not just those who can afford to pay at the point of delivery. The second, I think, goes to our definition of what good science is all about. And I think for many journals, the focus is now very much on novelty. And while that's very important in terms of disruptive uh, technology, massive leaps in discovery, there is also merit in slow incremental developments in science. And some of these come up and through articles that don't necessarily appear to be very exciting to some of the journals in our sector today. I think Human Reproduction Open is a journal that values these contributions to science and discovery and we're very keen to have them. And the third reason is that most scientific journals have ignored the needs of our consumers, our patients. What we see now is that our patients who are very well educated for the most part in reproductive medicine do their own research in almost a parallel internet which is divorced from scientific publication. What we offer in human reproduction open for the first time is an amalgamation of science with an understanding of what the consumer needs and an ability and a determination to make the content available to them rooted in their context and couched in language that they can access. So what we intend to do for the first time in this sector is to have a lay summary that is totally intelligible for all patients who want to understand what science and new discovery means to them.